Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Shadowburg Infinity. So today I have the fourth results of my previous video of La Hinge Beach and I'll discuss the various different tips and compositions I used and I'll also have some interesting facts about County Clare. So here I have the bird the seagull in the center of the photograph. So I like to have the reflections of the sky and the clouds on the beach as you can see here. And I have the seagull in the center. So I like the composition of the clouds. So it kind of looks like a person. So I took it portrait wise and landscape. So which do you prefer? Let me know below in the comment section. So the hinge means half island or peninsula. The hinge beach is a mile long. So it's quite a nice walk. On this particular day it was windy. So here I discussed leading way. You're leading the viewer's eye into the photograph. So leading way is a very nice composition. So here I had the seagull in flight yet again. So the hinge is also home to a 36 hole golf course. It is the South of Ireland Championship. It also hosts the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open in July in 2019. So La is also a popular location for surfing and it has a surfing school. So near the hinge you'll also find the beautiful cliffs of Moher. So there I had a person in the photograph. So it gives a different dimension to the photo. Here now I have the sun diffusing through the clouds. And then the seagull here adds a bit more depth to the photograph more life. I like the way the water is here flowing in. So every time you take a photograph with the waves they're different every time. So it's good to take several photographs. Again you can see the sun is diffusing through the clouds. Keep watching and I have some very more interesting facts about County Clare. So here we have the waves coming in. And on this particular day it was quite windy. So you could see the sand was blowing. So here again is leading way with the footsteps you're leading into the photograph. So it's good to draw your viewers attention that way. And we've also discussed this in previous videos. So I hope that you can see the sand was kind of blowing. That was what I was trying to capture as well.
So other places to visit in County Clare would be also the Doom Bay, where you'll also find Donald Trump's International Golf Links and Hotel. You have Bunratty Castle in Fort Park, which is quite nice to visit. You have the Burn National Park. So here again you see the waves and the water. So I like the way that there's dogs here. Adds more life to the photograph. So have your composition level. Not too much of sand, not too much of the sky. You will also find Doolan Cave in County Clare. So here we have the seagull. Listen to the photograph. And there's also one in the distance there. On the day I didn't have a tripod, but you could use a tripod and have a set your slow shutter speed. And if you had a person, then you can have the person stand still and put on a slow shutter speed so you'll get the waves in slow motion and like a blur, which would be quite nice photograph. This is one of my favorite photographs from the day. Because of all the composition, have it level. So you also have objects entering the scene, which is seagull buzz on the left hand side. The scene. So you'll also find Innis Frere. It's a landmark site in County Clare. And Jamora Wood Nature Reserve. And you'll also find the Atlantic Air Adventure, which is a nice museum to visit. So I like the seagull flying into the sea. Let me know below in the comments what you think. And have you ever taken photos at the beach like these? It's quite good to use reflective photography as well. So the sky reflecting on the beach or the sand. So in County Clare, which is quite interesting, you'd find Father Ted's house, which is an iconic 90s TV show. So here I just photograph the rocks. So you're leading again into the, into the photograph. So this was just a lead that was just tied to the bars. It wasn't belonging to the dogs that are in the photo. So it's a sense of abandonment. So you're making the viewer think why is there just a lead just hanging off of the... the bars. So I like kind of abstract photography. That's why I took these photographs. So here, as I discussed, you're leading into the photograph. They're drawing the viewer's attention and they're looking straight down. That's where their eye is going to be. So if you had a person at the end of it, you're leading their eye into that. So 
So your control over your viewer is is looking in the photograph. So here you have the two meters distance on the ground. See so a person here and a person here. So you have life with the person down the sea and you have a seagull. So in photography, a split second can change a photograph. So next up, I have the dog, which was just here for a split second, and then it quickly moved. So timing is key. So here's the little dog. So I took a more up close shot of this. You have the stairs, the steps going down. So I added in the foreground here with the rocks. Looking into the distance. So I hope that if you enjoyed this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends and family. Thanks for watching.